Hello guys, in this video, we will see how to install dbwork 25.0 on Windows operating systems. Then we will see how to connect PostgreSQL and MySQL from the dbwork. Okay, first download by going to dbwork.io. Hit enter. See, dbwork community is a free cross platform database tool for developers, database administrators, analysts and everyone working with data. It supports all popular SQL databases like MySQL, MyRDB, PostgreSQL, SQLite, Apache Family and more. And also notice here, we have the two types of versions, dbware Community and dbware Pro. It is commercial version, we have to pay. And this is the open source version. Here we have less, of, less features, but here we have the more features. But the installation process and configuration is same. So click on download this community edition. See here, at the time of making this video, the latest release is 25.0. Okay, for Windows, we have to download this Windows installer. So, click on installer. But the process is same on all Windows versions. Click on it. Wait a moment. Download. See, download started. Go to download. See here, its size is 121 megabytes. Wait until download completes. In the meantime, please subscribe my channel for more DB tutorials. See, download is completed. DB or CE25 setup.exe file. See, here, CE means community edition. Click on the setup.exe file to install. Click on it. Click on next. Select. See, this is the license agreement. Click on I agree. See, if you want install for all users, you have to select the checkbox. I want to install only for me. It is up to you. Click on next. See, by default, it has selected DB or community. If you want to include Java and other options, you can select the check boxes. It is up to you. So click on next. See, this will be the installation location. If you want to change this location, you can click on browse and select the path. Then click on next. See, this will be the name in the start menu folder. Okay. And also see here, do not create shortcuts. Create it and click on install. See, installation has been started. This See, installation is completed. If you want to create desktop shortcut, you have to select this checkbox. I don't want. So, click on finish. Okay, we have successfully installed. Now, we will see how to connect PostgreSQL and MySQL from the DB work. Okay, open all programs. See, here we have the folder with DB work community. See, we have two options DB work and uninstall. So, click on this DB work. Microsoft Windows Defender is active and good one. Cancel it. Now click on this new database connection. Then see here we have the list of the database connection options. First we are going to connect to PostgreSQL. Then click on next. See PostgreSQL is installed on this PC. So give the local host or you can give the IP of the machine. Port number for Postgres, default port number for PostgreSQL is 5432. Select so all databases. Postgres username Postgres, then provide the password of this Postgres user. Then click on test connection. See successfully connected. Sometimes it will ask you to download the drivers. Then you have to click on download. Okay. See now click on finish. Expand connection, expand databases. See here we have these databases. See we have this database. This is a user database. Right click, open SQL editor, then open SQL console. If you want to verify the version of the PostgreSQL that we have connected, just give version and select this execute button. See, we have connected PostgreSQL 70.4. Okay. Or if you want to run the queries against this database, just run select star from customer because there is a table with this name in this database. See, we got the data. Okay. Not only select, we can modify anything. See, you can execute SQL queries, SQL script. We have different options, import script, export script. If you want to disconnect from this session, first close this one. If you want to disconnect from this SQL connection, right click, then disconnect. And if you want to connect again, you have to click on here. And if you want to delete the connection, click on here. This is just confirmation, click on S. 
in the same way if you want to connect mysql again click on this plus button then click on mysql then click on next then database name i have same database is there for the mysql also and this is the default port for the mysql username root then provide the password of this root account then then we have to click on text connection this is the way okay in the same if you want to connect sqlite again click on this one select sqlite then click on next then select the path See, I have this database, so select it, click on open, click on finish. Now expand it, expand tables. See here, I have these tables. If you want to run queries against these tables, right click on this database name, SQL editor, then open SQL console. Now run the query against this select star from staff. Select the query and click on execute. So you don't have data so let's verify student select it click on execute see we have this data we can also create we can but not only select statement we can also create tables create table customer Select the text and click on execute. See it is successfully created. Right click, refresh. See we have the table. Okay, let us insert some data into this table. Let me remove this one. Insert into select the text and click on execute. Now I did this one. Select it and click on execute. We have inserted one more. Now verify the data. See, we have inserted these rows. Okay. So in this video, we have seen how to install, how to download and install DB Word 25 on windows operating systems then we have seen how to connect postgresql mysql and sqlite from the db world for more database tutorials please subscribe my channel thank you